Well, a new package arrived today, so let's unbox it and see what we've got. This is the GP30 series. Let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, here we go. Uh, thumb drive. Uh, lens cap. Instructions. Fifty centimeter ruler. Nice, looks like, appears to be stainless steel. Uh, looks like inch on one side and metric on the other. Test paper, I'm guessing. Let's get this to the side. Seems to be packed uh, fairly well. Standard issue goggles. Uh, some kind of handle, power cable. Uh, this is, looks like the vertical vertical piece here to raise it up and down the I don't know what you would call this mast I guess Put this to the side okay. more foam it's packed really well uh, some thumb screws Here's the base. Foot switch, uh, USB, ground, Looks like some Allen wrenches. Uh, some guides. other stuff down in here. A little tool pouch. Oh, this is uh, just some miscellaneous items that you can write off uh, when you're setting up. You can start engraving. There looks like some rings here. Some business cards. Dog tags. 
All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. All right, let's get the unit lifted out of here. Okay, set this to the side. All right, I've got a cart coming, but the cart's not here. So we're just gonna do like so. All right. So you can see that this laser is a little bit more compact than my original fiber laser. Uh, the Monport 20 watt that I have, this is a 30 watt. The unique thing about this particular laser is it's all self-contained where it's not a split unit. So my other unit, you guys have seen, uh, is a split unit. So we have the upper, the table, the mast, the head, and then a separate control box. So it's split, where this unit is all contained. Another unique feature about this is it has a Z-axis stepper motor. So you can raise and lower it automatically. We'll have a look in the instructions. This is a keyed shaft here for the mask to go on. There we go. We'll have to get that bolted down. Um, e stop here. Okay up, down, and power on. Whereas for the other laser, the split unit it had three power buttons. So we had our main board, our scanner switch, and then our laser. This one just has the one power button. So when you turn it on, I'm assuming everything's going to be on. Uh, this unit is a little bit more compact. like about 75 56 33 and a half and then the bed is about uh, 18 centimeters above all right so we've got our little bag of allens here And uh, there's not really much to putting this together, it doesn't appear. There's a couple of thumb screws, and then there's four socket head screws here. Uh, the four screws here are for the mast. And then last we have our handle up here for the top. Okay. Get some little plastic washer. Then the handle. Then the washer, lock washer, or no, it's just a regular washer, and then the screw. And the Allen here. Feels pretty smooth. That's kind of nice. All right, so let's take a look around, a kind of a walk around. So this is the manual crank. Uh, this unit right off the bat the first thing I notice is this unit is quite a bit more compact and smaller than my split unit um, 
it does have the button on top here to get the center point you can find the center point of your laser has that uh, the front here we have our e-stop up down and main power uh, the material seems to be aluminum this seems to be uh, I don't know maybe four or five millimeters thick probably five millimeters thick this is three millimeters thick on the side over here we have our controls this is our USB a ground foot switch here and our A axis for our rotary I guess it's an A axis and uh, we have our 110 volts in and this is a fused plug here get a look at that uh, maybe you can see the thickness there of the plate fairly nice uh, it's got a long cable here um, seems kind of really long for some reason since it's can only go up another six inches here I'm not sure why that's so long but another thing I noticed too is the lens now they're all theta lenses they're all 1064 I have several different lenses for my split unit this one here is a 130 millimeter lens and this is the 210 millimeter lens from my split unit now this piece here unscrews so this is the actual lens so if you wanted to swap it you would just screw this part on here I guess it's an adapter of some sort however this lens does not fit on the adapter the adapter thread here though will screw into the uh, GP30 unit for this particular unit but that is the way that is made uh, let me show you here the diameter this is the split unit and this is the uh, GP30 uh, this does say it's 150 by 150 the G, uh, split unit came with the 210 by 210 uh, so if you do want to swap lens you make sure you get this adapter here and then you'll be able to swap out uh, different lenses now you don't necessarily need different lenses uh, this one will do uh, quite a bit but if you're going to be doing some real fine detailed stuff uh, you might want a smaller lens just something to note again this whole unit is a little bit more compact so that's probably why they went with a different lens something that's unique to this unit I guess you could do it on the split unit as well but you can rotate this mast so that these bolt holes will go here and here and then you can extend it past the machine here if you have some tall pieces that you want to uh, mark then you can swing the head I guess you can swing it on both sides so that's kind of a neat little feature all right so let's take a quick rundown of all the accessories that come with the Monport GP30 so we have our guides here this is for positioning our work <clears throat> have our manual a thumb drive that includes our uh, all the information we need for the setup probably has all the parameters and everything so that we can get started quickly we'll go over that in the next video when we do our setup a 50 centimeter ruler 20 inch ruler comes with some goggles or glasses uh, even the glasses that came with the split unit they're fairly uh, inexpensive but they do come with a set you'll probably end up buying an extra uh, pair an aftermarket pair that more comfortable that's what I did comes with our our ground strap a foot switch uh, these foot switches are really handy when you're doing uh, several pieces multiple pieces over and over and over again foot switches I really enjoy having the foot switch Allen wrenches ball in by the way that's our power cable 
our USB cable. And then it comes with this little goodie bag, which is kind of nice. It gives you um, some different pieces that you can mark here to get started with. A um, couple of rings. This is an aluminum ring here. Uh, size 8, I think. Hang on just a second. I think they're both size 8. There's two of those. A couple of these little heart tags. I'm guessing they feel metal. I'm not sure. It's anodized. I'm not sure what kind of metal it is. Uh, cute little dog tags. Actual dog bone dog tags. A couple of those. Some these dog tags. We have some chrome looking ones. A couple of black ones. A couple of chrome. I'm guessing it's some kind of steel. They're fairly heavy. Then we have some of these business cards. Now these are pretty thick, so they're not regular thin business cards. They're fairly substantial in thickness. That's kind of nice. Uh, different colors, so you can do some marking and uh, kind of get an idea of how uh, to set up your marking for different colors. If you're trying to get a certain effect, that's kind of nice. At any rate, it gives you some material to kind of play around with and do uh, get you starting marking right away. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not sure how you're going to mark these rings. You might be able to set these rings up and mark just a little bit without a rotary. We can play around with that. Um, Overall, my first impression of this machine is it's uh, a fairly nice machine. Having already purchased the split unit, this unit seems to be um, more compact, which is good if you're limited with space. Um, it's a Rakus Galvo laser. It's 30 watts, so it should be more powerful than uh, my split unit which is only just a 20 watt laser these instructions look like appear to be for uh, easy CAD but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's light burn compatible my uh, original laser is light burn compatible and I believe that they advertise this as being light burn compatible on their website well alright guys well that is the Monport GP30 fiber laser in the next video, we're going to go through the setup procedures and go ahead and do some marking. So stay tuned for that video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a new video like this one, they'll send you a link. And if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video, please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.